Hey guys, I got two big stories for you guys today. One about fair use and how that might be changing on YouTube in a good way for us. And then also an update to Android. That means we can do some live streaming stuff that we haven't been able to do before. I'm looking forward to that. More coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday time to give you guys an update of all the changes and things happening in the online video world and talk about what it means for us as creators. Two big stories. One is this fair use thing. It's a really big deal, guys. So in 2007, a lady uploaded a video, called it Dancing Baby, dancing to one of Prince's songs and Universal Music immediately struck it down and said it violated their copyright infringement for Prince. And that lady, unlike most creators, actually took Universal Studios to court saying, no, this is clearly fair use. I can use this copyrighted material in a legal way on YouTube. And to make a long story really short for you guys, she now eventually won seven, eight years later. And the court of California ruled that copyright owners should take into consideration that fair use uses of their content before blindly just issuing copyright takedowns just because it contains their material. Which is something us as creators here on YouTube have been saying yes for like a long time. Like there's too much power in the hands of the copyright holder. They just do whatever they want. Which is why I've always said guys, you know what, just stay away from copyrighted material as much as you can. I know a lot of you guys have channels that depend on copyrighted material and use it often in very legal uses and fair use cases. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you think that this is actually going to change anything. I hope that it does and I'm a pretty optimistic person about this but let's just be honest it's not going to be for a while until it infiltrates everything and I just hope that it will at least make it for some of you guys who do decide to take your cases to court. It'll make it easier and quicker for you to defend and get damages for having your video quickly struck down in place of the ad revenue and all the opportunities you would have gotten for all the views of your video going viral or whatever the case may be. So as of right now there's not any big changes but I do hope this is the first step in and a series of changes that starts to come as fair use becomes a thing that the legal system anyway and YouTube and copyright holders will start to take into more consideration. More about that story is linked up in the description below this video. You can go click it if you want to read more about it. The second story that you'll find linked up down there is an update that has been announced that YouTube is going to make or Google is going to make to Android the operating system that will let you live stream mobile gaming straight to your YouTube channel without any additional software or apps or hardware or anything like that straight from your phone straight to YouTube which is something I am really excited about because I don't know if any of you guys are Clash of Clans. I play on my iPad here all the time and I have been wanting to live stream Clash of Clans for a while. Unfortunately I can't do it on iOS. The update is apparently just for Android but it is I do have a gaming channel. I haven't uploaded to it for like a few years but if I, I would consider getting an Android device just so I can upload uh, or live stream mobile gameplay that I do. Because guys, as a, as a dad, as a husband, as a business owner, like I don't really have the time to sit down and play Xbox as much as I wish I did. I did this past weekend actually with my kids. It was a lot of fun. But even then you end up playing things like, you know, Pixar's cars and you're driving Lightning McQueen <laughs> instead of some cool car. <laughs> so the mobile gaming is kind of where I'm at. And this would be a really welcomed update that I would think about just going and getting an Android tablet just for that. But what would you guys do? Is this something that you're looking forward to or you don't really care? I know there's a lot of you gamers out there, so I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below about this update to Android. These are the top two stories from last week, but there's about four other ones that I also thought I would share with you guys who are patron supporters here, video creators. If you're not, got a couple of bonus perks for you guys over there. Uh, stories about family vlogging. Is that safe for your kids and some studies and some things and conversations that are happening around that. Also full screen is launching a subscription that paid service and Periscope is making some cool changes and there's a lot of new things happening as far as like what it takes to be on top of YouTube's top 100 list and a lot of other things. So guys I'll share all that with you who are patrons and linked below if you want to learn more about that. And if this is your first time here I would love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday we take a look at the online video news, talk about what it means for us as creators. Tomorrow I got, got some tips for you guys. I got some Q&A coming up on Thursday like we do every week. And I've got a lot of extra bonus videos I'm going to be posting also as I experiment with some new things here on this channel. Looking forward to getting your guys' feedback and serving you well hopefully through those experiments uh, as well. So subscribe. We do this guys because I believe a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread and we'll do everything I can to help you spread your message to grow your YouTube channel and your audience so that people find you and hopefully have their lives changed as a result. So thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.